Okay, so we're going to talk about basic technique and we're going to practice with a smaller squeegee. This, I believe, is a 12, 12 inch squeegee. Um, it's the under handle I prefer because the angle. It's the channel I learned on. Uh, a lot of guys, after they're done working on this, they go to, a, it's called a ninja. It's got a thicker channel which is less susceptible to bending or twisting. If you catch it in the door frame, you can twist your channel. So these are easily damageable, but preferred for me on residential and a lot of route application. They both have their uses. This is a residential window, uh, which is smaller than a traditional plate. So it's easier to move a squeegee around in here than if you're using full 18 inch, because the distance from here to here is almost the whole squeegee. So, for the purpose of wetting the window, we're just going to use the big, the big mop. Okay. Uh, this is the basic technique listed on here, which I'm going to show you again on the big window. Um, it's, it's not exact because I did this for a show, but I'm going to give you the exact. You start with a loose grip, and you start in the corner, typically six inches down from the top. You'd come up the corner, and you'd start rotating right now. And now I'm at about 45 degrees on my squeegee angle. I've actually touched the other corner. Now I'm going to drop and immediately rotate. And get my squeegee in this position, which angles-wise, I'm not, I'm uh, probably 70 degrees. Okay? And I have to come back to get my water here. And I started here, so I have to come back to get here. So in order to do that, I have to go up and left at the same time and go straight all the way till I touch the frame. My squeegee is at about 45 degrees. I'm going to drop it to that 70 degree angle again. You can't rotate without a downward motion. There. Now at this point, I have to get my water here and here. So I have two more passes. So I'm going to go up and over at the same time and start rotating. Get, once I get to the edge, I'm going to start dropping and rotating. At this point, I'm at about 45 degrees, and I'm going to be careful to leave the top exactly where it is and rotate the bottom out and close. Closing is the term when you finish the window. It's more difficult as the sill protrudes, and you have to be very careful not to hit your knuckles on it. I'll show you that on a commercial window. We're going to repeat this. Wet the window. Start here, six inches down. Take out your corner. Come over, rotate. Drop down, rotate. Come back all the way straight. Drop down, rotate. Get your water straight. Drop down, rotate, and finish. Now we're going to talk about the next technique, which is catching your water. If this is a house window, I might actually approach it differently. So two techniques we're going to talk about. Catching your water and starting anywhere. We're going to start by catching your water. If my mop is probably run out and I hold it underneath the squeegee, where's the water going? It's dripping down. So if I hold underneath, I can catch all the water. And you just simply follow the, the, the mop relatively close to the squeegee. So there I took it off the glass. It's, it's going to drip here, but I'm going to hold them together. I can squeegee my frame a little and hold the line underneath to catch all, all the water. Uh, the next technique is starting anywhere. You don't have to start in the corner. That's how I teach a beginner because a door, which is the, I mean, you see a door on every job, right, on a commercial job. The proper way I clean a door is starting on the left. A big window, sometimes you'll start on the left, sometimes you'll start right in the middle. Sometimes you'll start on the right, it depends on what's in your way. So starting anywhere, we can start all the way to this corner. But the rules are, this just left streaks from here to here. Okay, so if I'm going to start there, I probably have to dance the squeegee. We'll talk about dancing. But there's little tails that get pulled off here. So no matter what, I have to come back to this corner. So if I start here, I have to come back all the way to the corner to get my tails. If I start in the middle, I have to come back here to get a little bit of tails and the water on the left. 
So how you start is almost irrelevant. You're going to always follow them in the same fashion. And that's going to be two techniques called mountain and fan. And we're going to cover those now.